Hey everyone, it's Lori from Scraps by Sissy. Sorry I'm a couple of minutes late. Technical difficulties again. Technology is not my friend today, but that's okay. Um, okay, let's try and get this ball going. If this, if you're joining me on my Facebook Live today, make sure you say hello. If I don't say anything, please don't take it personal. As you can see, I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing. If you're watching this on the replay on my YouTube channel, I'd love it if you gave my video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate that. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to find my video on my laptop so that hopefully I could see some of the comments and make sure everything is in the, in the view. Um, but I don't know why that should be any different. <laughs> Ah, okay, so, um, there it is, I see it, okay, okay, good, all right, so, we're going to look at, we're going to play with the August 2024 Paper Pumpkin, but before we do, I wanted to give you a quick sneak peek of, drum roll please, ta-da, our scrapbooking brochure, woohoo, I can't tell, well, I'm sure those of you who are in my Scraps by Sissy stamping group, Facebook group, um, they have already can, has seen the excitement I have for this. Um, this is going to be a digital only brochure. There's going to be four uh, scrapbooking kits available and other product. You can get the link to this to download your own scrapbooking brochure just join my email list I'll have a link in the description of the video when I get done with this but this is basically for the holidays there's two um, one's Christmas one is like winter we have a Halloween and we have a um, autumn one and we're coming out with Two-tone cardstock. I am so excited about that. Even two-tone in the basic black. Eventually, probably by next year sometime, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll have all of our colors in the two-tone going forward. Um, it's just so much fun coming. I mean, stamp sets that are more for scrapbooking rather than card making. Uh, look at that. Those are great titles. Look at that Halloween one. I know my friend Sheila is just chomping at the bit to get hers. But look at those colors. Those are just perfect Halloween colors. And then, of course, the autumn one. And I really like this stamp set because it says September to remember because our anniversary is coming up in September. So that'll be a fun one. And when you get the scrapbooking kits, they have printed instructions just like the ones from Close to My Heart. You remember the, I told you about the sketchbooks that I have purchased right before they went out of business? Same idea. It makes scrapbooking so much easier. In fact, I'll show you the sketch that I'll be using, or that I used for this month's layout. So let me show you that first. You're going to laugh when you see this layout. Look at this kid. <laughs> A little photo bomber. I can't stand it. So <laughs> every time I look at that, it just makes me laugh. I'm sorry. I just, I can't help it. That kid, he's such a little ham. These were photos taken of my youngest daughter who turned 37. I know she, she felt she feels really old. I said, come back in 30 years and let me know how you feel about that. Um, and it was taken at my daughter's house. And even though I used some of the elements from the kit, because the kits are more in blues, you know, Night of Navy, Misty Moonlight, and there is some Moody Mauve and that kind of thing, these pictures didn't go with that. So I pulled out the Full of Life Designer Series pack. And yes, it's a six by six pack of paper, but I made it work. Um, I pulled out the old balloon punch that I never got rid of. And 
I have these two. These are from the, oh, it's got stuck by the, ugh, there we go. These are my journaling tags. The, these tags are from the Facebook, Facebook. <laughs> I think it's a full moon or residual thereof. Um, these are from the paper pumpkin kit. And I'll give you a little hint. Because these tags had holes in them already and I didn't want to run my twine through it, I just cut little pieces of um, a scrap of paper and stuck it because these are glued on with mini glue dots and that way they don't get hung up on your layout. Except they do when you have adhesive on that. I didn't think about that too well, so we'll just move these down here like so. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I made some candles from the stamp. Hi Kathy, how are you? It's okay, I'm late. I was late too. I had some technical difficulties. I used um, one of the banners from the paper pumpkin kit and of course the stamps and the tags. That was really about it, but I mean, it's a birthday kit. It goes perfectly. So that's what I did. Um, I used, it's from the heart, or make it from the heart, volume six. And it was pattern two. And the R sketch, our, and I didn't have that much coffee this morning, so I apologize. Our scrapbook kits are gonna have instructions just like this. So it shows you how many, you know, whatever pieces of pattern paper you're going to use and exactly how to cut them. I did not use the circle. I ended up with the balloons instead. Um, but that's where casing comes in. You use what you want and what works best for you. And then, of course, it comes with two different looks at the layouts. So that's how I created my scrapbook layout. And I've got all the measurements listed in today's blog post. You'll see the link to that when I get done. So I'll put him aside, his face. He just kills me. Um, let's see. So the three, I'm actually doing an alternate for all three cards from the kit. This is one of them. Here's the inside. This is the second one. To me, this layer was really busy, but I just went with it. I pretty much followed the instructions for these two cards. Made this one a gift card holder. This is the third one, and I'm still using that interactive layer, but I made it for the inside of the card instead of the outside. So let me show you the kit. And as a person who absolutely loves blue, you know I liked this kit. So I'm using a couple of different blings. Here's the stamp sets. It actually came with an extra one. I used this one on my scrapbook layout. And those are the sentiments. And as you can see, let's say, here we go. This shows you the three different cards that it makes. And see, there's that interactive layer. And I'm like I said, I'm following those two according to the instructions. I should have mounted my stamps, but I didn't. And then it's using Knight of Navy, so I'm just going to use my big one. This is the one that comes in the kit, the little ink spot. And it came with a little bit of the mini glue dots and the mini dimensionals. And then this twine, this rose gold twine. Is that not beautiful? It's just stunning. Okay, and those are the two stamp sets. I'm not going to need that one, and I've got all of the pieces in there. So this was that interactive card that I was telling you about. And then, of course, the others. Here's that one that looks kind of busy, and then we're going to stamp on it and add even more busyness to it. So let's get this show going. So I'll start with the cake one first. And all the measurements for my pieces are going to be in today's blog post. I'm using a Knight of Navy card base. And then these are elements from the kit. Let's move those over so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, so I've cut both the front and the back of the card. 
at three and three quarters by five. And then I have an inside layer at, I believe it's three and a half by, where's my little ruler? Uh, I know I have a ruler here somewhere. Hang on. Oh, here it is. I believe this is I'm out of practice for videos. Can you tell? Okay, so the this white piece is three and a quarter by four and a half. So, because I wanted um, quite a bit of that outside to show, so we'll just go ahead and get these glued together and I'm just going to use stamp and seal and just attach the card base to my front layer. This is four by five and a quarter. Just going to center that there and then we're going to add this to the card front. Okay. Just like that. Now, get my sample out so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Not that that's going to help, right? Okay, so these are the cake layers, which I don't know that I've ever seen a piece of cake look like that, but hey, I thought about cutting out some pecan pie to these measurements, but these were already cut, so we'll just go with that. All right, so we'll go ahead and add these first. And I, the instructions tell you to use the mini glue dots because that's what's included, but I'm just going to use my seal. So, just glue these down like so. Put that one here. Okay, now we're going to stamp the little sentiment and it's going to say it's time for cake. It's always a good time for cake. Okay. And we'll just stamp that right there. And it's nice having the clear stamps so you can see right where you are stamping. It looks like there was a smudge, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to add some mini glue dots to this. Not mini glue dots, mini dimensionals. So that it gets lifted off the card base. And it's going to layer that right across there. Okay. Now, I've already got a bow somewhat tied. I was going to use it on another project and it just didn't work. So, guess what? It works now. Get those mini glue dots out. And I'm just going to add that right at the edge. And we'll tuck him in to that mini glue dot. Okay. Now, this is a sticker. So we'll just peel him off very carefully. All right. And we're just going to layer him without that piece. There we go. Oh, I don't want to manhandle this. There we go. I'm just going to stick that on. They are very sticky on the back, as you can see. There we go. Dun, da, da, da. And since the twine's not enough bling for me, I'm going to add some of the 2426 Shimmer in Color Gems in Peach Pie. That seems to be what that color is. Even if that's petal pink, I'd have to look at the instructions to see what it says the coordinating color is. But the peach pie goes just fine. Okay, so there's my front. Now for the inside, 
we're going to stamp, what did I stamp on the inside? I stamped happy birthday. And that's gonna be a sentiment we use a couple of times. So I'll just leave that one mounted. Oops, right there. Okay, we'll glue him down and everything will be good to go on this card. I don't need to do any of the envelopes because they have printed liners on them. You could absolutely stamp one of the sentiments on the envelope flap. And there's our first card. That's a cute card. Okay, we're gonna put him down. Set him aside. We're gonna do the second one. Don't need any more, yes I do need some of those. Okay, so for this one, grab my kit. It comes with, this is that printed layer, and they want you to stamp the balloons and they're little. This one's the real little one. So I'm gonna stamp him down here in the corner and I'm also gonna stamp him up here. I'm gonna stamp him up just about right there. Okay, and I'll take him off and then the other one kinda of has the star print to it like the um, the candles. So I'm going to stamp him up here. Oh, I stamped him off when I did this one. Oh well. No, oh, they're different. Okay, we'll leave him mounted only because I'm going to use him again on the inside. So this is just going to stamp right on the flag just like that. You know, when you first look at that happy birthday, it doesn't really look that curved, but it is. Okay, so these guys get added with dimensionals. Get them, you know what, let's put the card together first and put those on second. It'll make it easier to mount this on this layer. So this layer is... It is three and a half, I think it's four and three quarters. Yep, four and three quarters. And then I took the card base and I cut it to four by five and a quarter to go on my Knight of Navy card base. <laughs> this desk is a mess. <laughs> I know, so what else is new? So this, if you look close, you can see the kind of the same star pattern like the balloon has. And we'll set him down right here. And then this guy is going to get glued down right on top. Just like so. You could actually layer this one on with dimensionals, but there's going to be enough dimension with the balloon. Alright. So I'm just going to that's a pretty big balloon, isn't it? I'm glad I kept that balloon punch. I think it was, it's either the balloon builder punch or balloon, yeah, balloon builder punch, I believe is what it was called. Sometimes there's just that punch you just can't get rid of, and that was one of them. Okay, so I'm going to set him right about there. We're going to bring in this other one. And there's a lot of gold foiling in these balloons. Done in the rose gold also. So this guy we're just going to tuck back here. Just like so. And then the third one. him right here. Now this guy you're only going to add dimensionals to the ends and then to secure him on the balloons we're going to add, I'm going to put a mini glue dot in the middle. 
so that way he doesn't slip around. Like so. There we go. I'm sure we'll find a backing on Chloe when we go in later this afternoon. Okay, so then we're just going to stick him down here like so. And then we'll tie a bow in that twine to add on the base of that large balloon. This is the same kind of material as that silver and gold pack that's in the catalog. At least I think it's still in the catalog. It was in the annual, ca annual catalog a couple, two, three years ago. And it's just hung around. Okay. I can't even remember the name of the suite that it came with. Sheila would know because she loved that suite. All right, we'll set that right there. Now let's trim his little legs. Okay. And then we'll add some of the Pretty in Pink Shimmer Gems to match the balloons. Put him right there, right next to the dimensional backing. Okay, so the front is done. For the inside, this piece is cut at one and three quarters tall by five and a quarter. And I'm going to take my two inch circle punch and I just want to punch a thumb notch in it and hope I've got this centered. And if I don't, oh well, it's handmade. So I'm going to add some adhesive right at the edges. And he's going to get stuck. <laughs> Somebody's not measured right, and that would be this piece. Let me grab my uh, <laughs> my trimmer. <laughs> oh, that's funny. What are you gonna do? It's live video. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. So make sure it's four. It is four by. Five and a quarter. Okay, set that aside. <laughs> oh, oh, that's so much better. Okay, we'll stick that on here. Okay, and then we're going to stamp. What did I put on the inside of this one? Oh, celebrate. Let's see, here's my stamp. And it's right here. Okay, and it's kind of on a curve too. And we'll stamp him towards the top. There. And then that ink pad's pretty juicy. I'll add him to the inside. Like so. And we'll show you how that'll work. Just happen to have another gift holder. Oh, it even matches the cardstock. How about that? All right, card number two down. And we're done with these dots. We'll do this guy next. Okay, so I dyed, I cut a piece of basic white with the nested essential dies. We'll do all our stamping first. So I want to stamp happy birthday on this. And this is the second to the largest one. So we'll get him right up here at the top. Okay, just like that. Okay, set him aside so he can dry. Now I want the little candle. And these guys. These guys have the little foiling printed on them. So, let's see how straight we can stamp this. Keep your fingers crossed. So we'll come in here. 
There's one. Not very straight. Here, let's... I think he's crooked on the block. Yep, he was. Okay, so we'll stamp him. That one looks better. <laughs> that one looks like he's been drinking. Okay, he was celebrating before the card got sent. All right, there we go. Now, that da da da. This is it's, the card base for this card is actually just one layer at four and a quarter by five and a half, and I've trimmed it down to three and three quarters by five, and I'm adding it to a four by five and a quarter inch piece of misty moonlight. But you can see that's the color of the print. And we're going to add this to a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of thick basic white. And it's scored at five and a half. So we'll lay him down like that. This guy's just going to get glued right down to the card base. Like so. All right, let's go ahead and stamp this guy and I can put the ink pad away. So I stamped Make-A-Wish on that one. And I'm gonna stamp that down here. And then this one says lost count because of all the um, candles. <laughs> that's for somebody that's up there a bit, huh? We're going to stick this right across the top. There we go. Let him dry for a second while we put the candles on. So the, the dimensionals fit pretty good on the back side, but we need to trim this a little bit to get to fit on the base of the candle. So I'm just going to use that little piece right there. Okay. He should fit okay on that one. Yep. Stick that there. There. And I'll trim him a little bit. I still love my tweezers, maybe. Oh, you know what, here, duh. There we go. Stick him down like that. <laughs> I still have a mess. <laughs> uh, we'll put the crooked one over here. him. <laughs> All right. Put him down here in the middle. This guy at the right side. Come on. There we go. Stick him there. Now, I know these don't, aren't real close to the rose gold, but I like them anyway. Just going to add those. Give it kind of a flame effect. There we go. See? Cute. Alright, so for the inside, let's clean this up. This is going to be the accordion fold. So, this one we know we want that to be the last. And you just go back and forth. Oops, almost messed that up. Okay. And then we're going to come over here. And that's how it would look on the card. Yeah, that's exactly how it's supposed to go. 
So I'm going to add adhesive to the back. And then I bring him over just as if you were putting a layer in about a quarter of an inch away from the edges. Okay. Now, we're going to add some more to this side. I didn't fold that very straight, but you won't even be able to tell. Just close your card over it, and you have an accordion fold. Isn't that cute? I like it much better than it, with it being on the front of the card. And then I have those tags to use for something else. So let me clean up my mess here. We'll take one last look at our cards for the day. I don't think I need that guy. And so you can, all of the adhesives I keep at my desk here have come from paper pumpkin kits. So see how that starts to add up after a little bit. Let's see, where did he go? Okay. So our three cards. Well, two, yeah. And then, I really like this, how this one turned out. I've got one more to make. Yeehaw. And then one last look at the little photo bomber. <laughs> that face. <laughs> you can see she was laughing from it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and spending time with me today. I will finish up my blog post and get all the links in there. Don't forget, if you are not on my email list, um, I'll have the link to join my email list, and that way you'll get the email this afternoon with the link to the brochure. Um, I can't think of anything else. Oh, don't forget, this is the last, what, four days-ish of redeeming those bonus day coupons and the designer series paper sale. So this, like this one here, normally twelve fifty, you can get. I think it's ten dollars and twenty nine cents or something, whatever fifteen percent off is. And if you're a demonstrator, you get even more. All right, thank you again for stopping by, and I hope you have a great afternoon. Bye.